So one day I'm sitting in my office avoiding uh, writing some contracts that I'm probably due for you and you and about eight of the clients that are in here. And I'm thinking, how can I put this off for another hour? And the thought of wisdom comes to my mind, and I think, how would I recognize wisdom if it hit me upside the head? Because, you know, I'm not, I've been accused of being full of plenty of stuff. Wisdom is not one of them. And so I got Illustrator open, and I created this graphic. And in the middle of this graphic, I put the Hebrew letter Yod, which is the eternal, creative, flaming hand of God. And it's a Kabbalistic symbol, and it's a symbol in the middle of my Masonic ring. And I thought, that's cool. We'll start with that. And then I put practical experience, because wisdom has some practical experience. You know, I've been accused of having plenty of book knowledge sometimes. As a lawyer, we tend to get that accusation. And I need to have the actual experience of stuff. And I've experienced some things. And so it's like, okay, you've got to have the practical physical experience. You've got to have the, the, the mental knowledge. You've got to have a language to communicate that. And maybe when you combine those things, you can get some wisdom. Uh, wow, this is great. This is a great way to avoid writing a contract. I'll stick with it for another 15, 20 minutes and play with this and maybe make it an Ignite presentation because I believe, and you've seen the theme here tonight, that everybody has a creative spark within them. And you can call it a spark of divinity or personal genius. It's what you were talking about earlier. And my purpose on the planet is to help as many people as I can recognize that spark then add some kindling and fuel, and I think you do that cr through creative business. That's one way to do it. Another way to do it is to get out your paints, turn off the TV, and do some creative things around that and bring it. But the really, really important thing that I think happens to create wisdom is that you've got to be willing to share it. You know, I work with a lot of people in the copyright and trademark era, and they get kind of paranoid, and they say, how can I protect all my intellectual property? And I say, it doesn't mean squat unless you share it. And so let's think a little bit about where we see these things of experience and knowledge and wisdom coming together. And so one of the things is that you see in teachers all the time is that they get a calling and they've got to share it and teach. Or you hear the serenity prayer where you know the serenity is that kind of experience and the courage is to move out and, and gain some knowledge, but the wisdom to know the difference. And that word wisdom shows up a lot. You get the yin, that receiving power, you get the yang, that bring it out, and when you combine them, you get this peaceful energy that's doing something, which is called the Tao, and there's a lot of wisdom in that. It just shows up over and over and over in all kinds of things. You get the idea of let it happen, which is kind of the Eastern symbology, or you go out and you make it happen, which is that yin-yang. So where's the balance? Because if you're always trying to make something happen, and you never just let something happen, there's not a lot of wisdom in that. I'm a Mason and, well, Freemason, not, I don't like lay bricks. Um, and we have a whole thing of, of the wisdom to contrive, the strength to support, and the beauty to adorn all of our lovable undertakings. And that whole light of knowledge being just a little bit of a light in the darkness, the spark that comes in, and we learn that, and we craft that, and we get into that. And then we have the chance to experience things. And when we share experiences, like Ignite, you get to have this shared language, and when you get into that shared language of stuff, whether it's racing, or whether it's painting, or whether it's music, we all have these different areas of, of our lives and our experiences where we share an experience and we share a language. And when you can put those things together, you might be able to start accessing some truth. Now, I haven't blown off the contracts long enough to really get into the truth, but there's there's some spaces in between the ideas and the thoughts and the breaths that we have where that spark of divinity, we can see it, we can recognize it. And if we can get into that and recognize where those spaces happen, maybe we can have some experiences that are shared with new people. Maybe we can learn a new language of visual or jargon or programming or creativity or painting or music. And then maybe, like the hermit archetype, we can start to share that with other people. So find that spark of creative divinity within you, add some kindling, however you want to do that, and then get up on this stage and share it.
like my friend Don McGrath's going to do next, telling you about some leadership stuff that he learned from climbing rocks. Thanks, everybody. <laughs> <laughs>